Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Wednesday, uh, April 3rd, 2019. It is hump day. Happy hump day to you guys. Hopefully everyone is having a good week so far. Um, if I, I just want to mention, if you guys <laughs> are picking up any sort of, I don't know, um, animosity, feeling down or anything like that in my voice. I, I don't know what's going on right now, you guys. Um, I had some really, really intense and fairly dark dreams last night. Um, and I still woke up this morning, like, tired. Um, I, went, I was in bed by 9 o'clock last night and was asleep by probably 9.30, but I kept waking up. Um, like I, at the first time I woke up at like quarter to two, and then I woke up again at like three, and then four, and then finally at like 5.30, I was like, okay, well I guess I should get up now. <laughs> um, so I did, and I was like, okay, well let me do some yoga. I did some yoga, I worked out a little bit, but I'm still just kind of like not having it. So, um, I already asked, you know, I prayed about it this morning and spirit is saying that there is an integration process that's going on. Um, so that makes a lot of sense as to why we may be feeling fatigued. Um, but, ooh, excuse me, um, if you guys are going through anything similar, you know, go ahead and share it in the, in the comments down below. I mean, you know, I've been dreaming pretty vividly a lot recently. Um, but last night it was just like one after another, it was just negative circumstance after negative circumstance. And I'm just kind of like, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm done. I'm just, I don't, I don't have much of much patience today, but anyway, so if you're hearing that in my voice, that's what's going on. Um, I haven't even, I haven't even done my nails and I'm really kind of upset about it, but oh well. Moving on. Okay. So... Wednesday, April 3rd, uh, happy hump day. Um, if you're in the New York City area, I'm going to be at drop-off service tonight for art party. You wanna come hang out, check us out. Starts at 8 p.m., free entry, good drinks. I'll be doing readings. Come by and check us out. Drop-off service is on Avenue A between the 13th and 14th Street, I believe. Something like that. Yes, anyway, uh, yeah, come check us out if you have the time, if you're around. Um, but other than that, let's just, let's just get straight to it, guys. Let's see what's going on for the day. Also, keep in mind that energies are fluid, you know, time is an illusion. So just because it's a message that's coming through today doesn't mean it has to resonate today. Um, also, uh, this is a general reading, okay? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And this is not specific to anything. This is literally just what spirit wants to discuss with us today, okay? Cool. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Wednesday, April 3rd, 2019. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. Let's see what we've got. Wednesday, April 3rd, 2019. Wednesday, April 3rd. One more shuffle here. And then we'll see what comes through for today. Best message, please. Spirit, Wednesday, April 3rd, 2019. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. That's a lot. That's a lot. That is a lot. All right. And that's all. That's all she wrote. 
Okie dokie. Big reading today, guys. Overall energy, we have the seven of wands. Defensiveness, boundaries, blockages, barriers, roadblocks, setbacks. The list kind of goes on, doesn't it? We've got Queen of Cups, Two of Cups, Knight of Swords, the Magician, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. And then we have another row here at the very bottom. So immediately, I'm going to say that we're talking about a connection here. Um, we're talking about two people. I'm, I'm not necessarily going to try to, I, I'm going to, okay, well, I'm going to tell you what I'm feeling. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm going to tell you what I'm picking up here. Um, uh, already I'm picking up that person, we have person A on top, person B on bottom. Now, this is a general reading, okay, so it doesn't have to be two separate people. But in some cases, we are talking two separate people, all right? Take it as it resonates, guys. It could just be all this other person. It could just be you, especially if there really isn't anyone else um, in your life that you're connecting with right now, especially if you're really just focusing on yourself. This could be you know, two sides of yourself or just everything that's going on internally. Take it as it resonates, guys, okay? But um, on the top row, we're going to call this row A. You have the Queen of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Someone is very aware of a connection. The Queen of Cups is um, very intuitive. She's very loving, she's very compassionate. She's very much in tune with her emotions. She knows what's going on with her. Okay, she's an energy of um, extreme emotion, very strong emotion, but when she's upright, when she's balanced, she knows how to control her emotions. Now that can also lead to um, holding her emotions back, not really saying anything about him, not communicating them, not showing them and that's kind of what I feel like is going on here. Someone is very much, uh, we're talking psychic awareness here. Someone is very much aware of a connection. <coughs> Excuse me. Someone is very much aware of a connection, but is it keeping it to herself, him or herself? You have the Queen of Cups, which is followed by the Two of Cups. But then actually, but then after that, it's followed by the Knight of Swords. So that could be two things. One needing or wanting to communicate about it be very direct very honest very blunt very strong-willed about it or this is a defensive a guardedness between with this seven of wands energy it also could be another person in your life or in this person's life that is guarding the situation. The Queen of Cups is a Cancerian energy, or it could be another water sign, Pisces or Scorpio. They could either be in a relationship already with someone, which is what the rep what's represented by the Two of Cups, and either they're very defensive about it, or there's another person, like the, the person that they're with is defensive about it. Or, and this actually could be an and, this Knight of Swords could be representing communication that needs to be had, or needs to be given, wants to be had. Okay. But then you have row B with the Magician, the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. Now, this could be another person who is in fact single and is working on manifesting some sort of union. Is 
it also could be someone that is single and is very much grounded and secure and has a sort of union going on within themselves and is working on continuing to manifest what they desire in life. Or it could be the same person as in row A who is manifesting some sort of maybe breakup, um, working on becoming single. <laughs> Sorry, guys, for the sniffles here. Um, it could be a situation in which they have very much come to a solid foundation within themselves. And now they're very defensive and guarded against the, situ against the relationship. It could be that you are, someone is in a relationship. You could be, or someone else is in a relationship. And... You're not seeing eye to eye anymore. I just heard that. And someone could be manifesting their way out. But this Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles is the single card, the Bachelor, the Bachelorette card. But to be quite honest, the, the, the strongest thing I'm seeing here is this is two separate parties. Someone's single, someone's in a relationship, or Oh, this all, this all could be the single person. This is really, this kind of is confusing, but again, it's a general reading. So I really have to, to see it in as many ways as possible. So take it as it resonates, okay? But I want to get into row C here because I really feel like, which is all these cards that fell out face down, this is, I really feel like this is going to help tie it all together. Oh, shit. <laughs> the moon the Hermit, the Empress, and Justice. All four of them are major arcana, and the moon has come out in reverse. Holy moly. Um, sorry guys, give me a second. <coughs> Ooh, give me just a second guys, I gotta blow my notes here, and I don't wanna do that all up in your ear. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of this. Ooh, I'm sorry about that. I don't know where that came from. Uh, okay, let's get back into this now. You have the moon in reverse, the hermit, the empress, and justice. Let's start with the moon. The moon in re Good Lord, I'm about to sneeze again. The moon in reverse is talking about illusions becoming very clear. Very clear. The moon is... The moon in reverse is something is being revealed or something has been revealed. <clears throat> or you are clear on something. You see thing. You see something much clearer now. You can see something for what it truly is. Or at least to a greater extent than you may have in the past. The hermit is a very solitary uh, energy. Okay. I feel like someone is coming out of a hermit mode. Also energies of coming out of the dark night of the soul because the moon can represent the dark night of the soul but because the moon is in reverse here and that makes perfect sense someone really i mean a lot of us all of us with all the shadow work that we've been doing all at least when i say all of us i say all of us that have really been resonating with morning coffee lately myself included okay because like i said on monday was it monday i did do a reading on monday um, I was reading my own life and I have, and I do quite often here on these, <laughs> these morning coffee readings. So we've, uh, we've been going through a dark night of the soul and we're coming out of it. We're absolutely coming out of it. We're coming out of a hermit mode. We are more connected with the abundance of the universe and there's justice at hand here. Okay. The Empress is giving me an energy of saying that we, we absolutely can manifest anything we want. 
anything we want. And the hermit mode, I, you know, we're coming out of the dark night of the soul. I don't know if exactly if we're coming, if we're really coming out of hermit mode. I kind of feel like we're in a perpetual hermit mode. It's like everything that we've been through recently, um, especially with this Queen of Cups energy here, which is representing psychic ability, much more in tune with your emotions, but being, keeping them to yourself. With the, with the dark night of the soul that we've gone through and the psychic attunement that has happened and especially with the seven of wands that's in the overall energy here, I don't feel like we're really coming out of a hermit mode. I feel like we're kind of staying in hermit mode to a certain extent. Like we, it's an energy of um, understanding the value of solitude and solitary time keeping to yourself, keeping your guard up, keeping your defenses up, just at least right now, I'll say. I wouldn't say like in perpetuity, I wouldn't say forever, but right now with everything that we've been through lately, it's like we're not trying to be too social. And yet there's this connection here. And with the Queen of Cups energy, it's like you're seeing so deeply into the situation that yes, you could be seeing potential here, but you're also seeing the struggle that could potentially be involved because I do feel like there's some, there's some sort of defensiveness, some sort of guardedness, some, but or also like a, a, an aggressive energy between the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Either that could be a third party like maybe you or somebody else that you have this connection with has a partner already is with somebody already and there's a lot of jealousy there's a lot of jealousy that this person is holding i guess because of the potential in the connection that you have with their whatever i don't know there's some sort of jealousy going on here very very guarded very defensive willing to defend the relationship, but I'm not sure that energy is reciprocated. See, but now, here's the thing. Here's the thing about this, guys. You may be this Queen of Cups right here, and you are definitely feeling the struggle, and I really do feel like there's some sort of frustration here that's represented by the Knight of Swords, at least on your part. But the thing about it is you can manifest anything with the Magician. But that's why I feel like this is so frustrating because it's like, why, do, why, is it, why does it have to manifest this way? Why can't this person or why can't I manifest a situation where the person is single or they don't have all this baggage or there isn't this like blockage with the seven of wands why does it have to be so damn difficult it's an interesting question guys i don't i don't really know okay spirit just suggested well maybe there are some lessons to learn here okay sure i mean there are lessons anywhere right Okay, I really want to get into the clarification section now because I think I've gone as far as I can so far. Honestly, I really want to tell you guys to just focus on your independence. Because with this Four of Wands energy, not only are you manifesting union, but I really feel like you have a union with yourself that's already in play. Four of Wands. So really, it's only just a matter of time until that counterpart or the, 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 the deeper union with another person manifests. I mean, the magician. I really do feel like you're manifesting it. And with all of this major arcana down here, this all is working in your favor. 
Okay, why is it working in your favor? Let me explain this a little bit more before I move on to the clarification section. The moon in reverse is talking about the dark night of the soul situation that you're emerging from, okay? The hermit, the hermit is talking about independence, solitude, um, being your own person, shining your own light. And in this dark night of the soul energy, you really come into greater alignment. Although it's not, you're not finished yet, but you're in greater alignment now than you have been in the past with your own self. You know yourself better. I just heard you trust yourself. Maybe a little more than you may have in the past, if not fully. You're just in a better position than you were in the past. You've learned a lot of lessons. You come into greater alignment with yourself, okay? And so because of that, you're in alignment with the abundance of the universe here. So justice is going to be served no matter what. So that's the energy that's saying to me, you're going to manifest anything. You're going to manifest what you want. So don't see this, I guess don't allow, I guess, okay, what I'm, what I'm saying and what spirit is trying to say through me is don't allow yourself to get so frustrated about the situation. It's, there's more to it than what it seems, especially with the moon here. Even though the moon is reversed, okay, the moon is reversed because illumination is being shed on, on the situation. You're seeing deeper into the situation, okay? And the moon also represents situ uh, uh, circumstances in which not everything is as it seems. Well, you're seeing it. You're seeing deeper into the situation. You may not be seeing everything because the moon, I mean, it is the moon. It's not the sun, it's the moon. You may not be seeing everything, but you're seeing a lot more than maybe you would have in the past, which also could be why you're getting so frustrated with the Knight of Swords energy. marriage you guys i don't like talk i mean oh if you know me which many of you do by now you know that i don't do love readings like this i'm not trying to create false hope i'm not trying to jump on the bandwagon and do all these love readings because that's what's popular i don't do that I don't do that. So when messages like this come out, you know it's something, okay? But take it as it resonates, guys, all right? Please keep in mind, I am not trying to create false hope, but there we go. <laughs> but someone, but there's definitely some guardedness here. It might be on behalf or on the part of this person that you're connecting with, but also, I really feel like it's you. I mean, ain't nobody got time for this bullshit. You know what I mean? Like we are too grown to be playing these damn mind games, to be playing these damn games all the time, y'all. We are way too grown. <sighs> Do you hear the, the disdain in my voice? Yeah, I'm not feeling it today. Not feeling it. But you know what, it's okay. We can all not feel it together. We can get through it together and it will be fine. But yeah, I'm just as frustrated as you are with this. But hey, anyway, <laughs> let's get some clarification. Um, I wanna start with the bottom row first. And I'm gonna give this one more shuffle and I'm using the Epic Tarot today to clarify. Also, I'm using the, um, this main deck is the Moon Child Tarot. The Moon Child Tarot. Moon Child is one word, yes. All right. Also, when's the new moon? The new moon, when is that? I don't know. It's coming soon, isn't it? Anyway, um, let's talk about the bottom row here. Just some clarification, please, spirit. Oh, shit. 
shit. <laughs> Holy shit, you guys. Oh, damn. Uh-oh. Oh, damn. Damn. That fucking hanged man. Okay. Underneath the deck, you have the Six of Pentacles. And you want to know why I'm laughing so hard? Because the sun came out. So you are seeing this very clearly, aren't you? Like, it's not even a matter of, you know, you've come out of the dark night of the soul. Well, yes, you have come out of the dark night of the soul. Perfect. But it's not even a matter of, you know, things are being revealed to you in a way, but it's still kind of shaded. No. No, full blown seeing straight through this situation, seeing just about everything you need to. And why do I say you're seeing just about everything you need to? Damn near everything. Like, shit. Justice, twice. But that means, but this is just confirmation that, oh, damn it. The universe, and I'm sorry, I'm saying it this way. I'm getting kind of upset about it because I don't like. I don't like making guarantees like this, but this is the energy I'm feeling. I mean, justice came out twice. Justice is going to be served here. So whether, so regardless of who it comes from, you're going to get your just rewards, I guess you could say. I just saw 17 again. Good Lord. Um, I don't, I've been seeing 17 everywhere. Like it's been, it's been following me. I'm being stalked by the number 17. <laughs> but think about it this way. 17 boils down to an eight. Eight is abundance. Abundance with the Empress here also. Oh, wow. And the eight of pentacles is on, has fallen on the Empress. Justice is going to be served. So regardless of whether it comes from this specific situation here or it comes from somewhere else, it's gonna happen. It's going to happen. Justice twice. I mean, how else do you want me to read that? And I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to create false hope, guys. But we are manifesting this. The magician, okay. You have the Eight of Pentacles with the Hanged Man on the Empress. Okay. I guess this is an extension of needing to work towards a, gaining a new perspective. And so I guess, okay, maybe getting so frustrated about this, like, the, like Spirit said, try not to get so frustrated about it. It's going to work out in your favor. Please believe us. This is what they just said. But you have to really work on, ah, there it is. The, the change in perspective comes from believing in the abundance. So whatever is frustrating you, don't let it happen anymore. It's really not a big deal. Because regardless of the circumstances, everything you want is going to come into fruition. The magician is manifestation. And then you also have the six of pentacles underneath the deck, which is balance. What you put out, you will receive back in due time, in divine timing. So keep that in mind. Don't let it frustrate you, okay? On the Hermit, we have, oops, the Ace of Pentacles. But the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. So you have an offer coming to you. There's just a little bit of a delay right now, you could say. A new start is coming. That's strange. Because what I'm seeing here on the hermit, what this is saying to me with the ace of pentacles in reverse on the hermit, you're not willing to really offer anything to anybody. So, okay, in terms of this situation here, if this is a specific someone that you know there's a connection, two of cups, queen of cups, you know there's a connection here. But there's some, something else going on. Either they're in another relationship or you're super guarded, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. You're not willing to give them anything. Ace of Pentacles. You have it. You may want to, but you're not offering any sort of 
commitment. The Ace of Pentacles is a commitment in the sense of starting a relationship. Maybe even taking the relationship to another level. You're holding, you're standing back in your own solitude, holding on to this pentacle like, nope, I'm not giving that to you. Something's got to give here. Something, something's got to change before I am willing to make this Ace of Pentacles that I have available. Okay. All right. Next thing I want to do is I want to clarify this second row here. The Magician, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. Please, Spirit. There's the Nine of Pentacles again. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, well, damn. <laughs> you saw that, right? So we're clarifying this whole situation then. There you go. There's the Magician again. Also, you've got... The Hermit, again, you've got the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Again. <sighs> Holy moly. I'm just looking at the way this is has fallen and wait let me turn this one over the king of pentacles in reverse holy shit good lord spirit okay so first thing i want to say the three of swords has fallen out and it has fallen out on the queen of cups which i do which I am saying is most likely the viewer of this reading, okay? Um, Three of Swords has fallen on that. The Six of Cups has fallen on the Magician and the Queen of Cups. And the Three of Swords is on the Six of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Look, right here. I'm just, I don't wanna move these because it's showing, it's really telling the story here, okay? Um, So this Queen of Cups individual is potentially, or most likely, the third wheel. Um, and I'm seeing that this is a cause of heartbreak for you. Yes, for the Queen of Cups, absolutely. But also for the situation in which this other person has a partner. Are they happy with that partner? We'll get to that in a second. Now, the King of Swords has fallen out crossed between the Six of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So there's definitely an energy of, yes, we know this is a connection. We know it. There's no doubt about it. We saw it with the Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups, but now we're seeing it because the Six of Cups has come out. There is definitely a connection here. And the Six of Cups is between the Magician and the Queen of Cups. Hopefully, I hope, you, <laughs> I hope you guys are keeping up with me here. But you are manifesting a relationship. You're manifesting a soulmate bond. Sometimes these people may be in a relationship when you, meet, when you come across them when you reconnect with them. This is someone from the past, potentially, whether it's from the, you know, the past in this lifetime, or it's someone from a past life, or you just have some sort of soulmate connection with this person. Now, before we go any further, I don't wanna hear nothing. I don't wanna hear from y'all talking about, oh, I don't want so-and-so from my past. If you don't want that person from your past, then move the fuck on. I don't wanna hear about it, okay? You can dislike all you want. If it doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't resonate with you. Move on. For others of you, there is someone from your past that you do have a good connection with, that you do have someone of a healthy relationship with. If that's the case, then that's potentially you. 
Understood? Great. Moving forward. The King of Swords has fallen out between the Knight of Wands and the Six of Cups. There is definitely an energy of wanting to just rush in. There's passion here, there's excitement. This is why if it is someone from your past in this lifetime, this is still a good connection. It's not someone that you had some sort of destructive connection with, okay? Honestly, like, I'm, whatever. But you see the King of Swords is sideways here. Is, is literally, the way I'm seeing this, is literally holding this Knight of Wands at bay. Like, oh no you don't. Ooh, no. We're not going down this road again. You're gonna stay over there. You're gonna cool off a little bit. And we're gonna let this see, we're gonna see how this plays out. Makes sense. Excellent. You have the, the, the Hermit with the Knight, with the Nine of Pentacles, excuse me. The Hermit with the Nine of Pentacles. With that, you have the Three of Wands. So really, and the Three of Wands, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be, I'm not supposed to be moving these, but these were also, you couldn't really see it. But the Three of Wands is crossed between the Magician and the Two of Cups. So you're on the right path here, the Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles. You're on the right path. You're manifesting what it is you want. You have the Ace of Cups here. Which, is on, which has fallen on the Nine of Pentacles. So not only are you loving yourself, not the original Nine of Pentacles, the original, because Nine of Pentacles came out twice here. You're loving yourself enough to know what it is you want, and you're on the path of manifesting what it is you want. Now, let's go over here. You have the Knight of Swords, and the Four of Wands. This is an established relationship in some cases. But the, wait, Knight of Swords, Four of Wands, and on top of that is the King of Pentacles in reverse. I don't think someone is happy in this situation. Someone might be really materialistic um, very, very controlling, narcissistic, I'm hearing. Might be someone that's pretty financially stable, but it's almost as if that's all they care about to some extent. Um, status, very much focused on status, um, finances, uh, appearance, how things look on the outside instead of how you feel about it about like what what makes you happy about it okay that kind of situation and then what's fallen out here is temperance patience i literally just heard waited out and then what flew out over here which you can't see death but death is in reverse so there's resistance to some sort of change here change is coming a transformation is coming, but there's resistance to it. But that's okay. Just be patient. <laughs> oh boy. And I just saw 38, 38 on the counter. Three and eight boil down to an 11. Take that as you will. <laughs> wow. That was intense. Okay, we're going to get some Oracle Guidance. We're going to close out this reading with Oracle Guidance from the Whispers of Love deck today. I mean, that's pretty fitting, isn't it? Oh, boy. One more shuffle, and then we'll see. Like... Look, y'all, I'm just as frustrated as you are. Like, like I don't want to be alone forever, but like, I also don't want to deal with this shit. <laughs> I don't. I just don't. But you know what? It's fine. Whatever. Let's get some Oracle guidance here. Best message, please, Spirit, in terms of this situation what's going on here 
just Oracle Guidance here. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, all right. All right, Spirit. Underneath the deck you have card number four. You are limit limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. For some of you in this situation, you are experiencing some limits, boundaries, circumstances that um, seem to limit your potential or limit your outcome. But again, you are limitless. Now, I'm not saying that you should run, run around with this Knight of Swords energy and work on break any, breaking anybody up. No, you need to allow, allow that to happen naturally, okay? I mean, shit, I don't know. Like, I'm not, I'm not advising that anyone work on breaking up a relationship, regardless of whether you know that they're happy in it or not or I should say it the other way, regardless of whether you know they're not happy in it. Like, no, I would never advise that. But that also can't mean, doesn't mean that you can't manifest a relationship that resonates with you, okay? Don't let this get you down, don't let this frustrate you. You have card number 33 here, appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. Yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense, actually. So yeah, appreciate this moment, okay? Look to your inner strength, card number 11. You are stronger than you realize, okay? <laughs> the first card I saw, though, card number nine, slow down, right? With this Knight of Swords energy, I'm sorry, Knight of Wands energy, crossed by this king of swords literally being held i want you, I, I i wish i could zoom in but you see the knight of the knight of wands is all the way over here the knight the king of swords is on top of the six of cups which is here it's almost as if this king of swords is like holding this knight of wands at bay it's like oh no you don't you're gonna cool down buddy right slow down slow down When you are when you get when you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. I told you, temperance. Jesus Christmas. Whoa. Card number twenty-seven. Twenty-seven is another strongly reoccurring number for me. Spiritual connection. This connection. I'm sorry, this relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. I told you. Good Lord. Good. Oh, my God, you guys. And then the final card that came out is freaking card number 17. And guess what it says? Have patience. Good golly. Love is patient and kind always. Like, my mind is slightly blown right now. My mind is slightly blown right now. <laughs> okay, um, I wanna pull just one more oracle. The animal spirit guides wanna help out today. They wanna help out with this. All right, animal spirits, what would you like to add to this? Oracle guidance for this situation. I mean, look at the numbers that came out here. Number four, number nine, four is stability, nine is an ending, and nine is the card of slow down, take some time to allow things to unfold. 33, 11, and then 27 and 17, which are personal numbers for me. Like, I've been, 27 has been following me around for years now. Like damn near five years or so. And 17 is a card, is a number that's been following me around for some time, but it's gotten, it's gotten really aggressive lately, you guys. <laughs> All right, one more shuffle, and then we'll see what the animal spirits have to say. And I'm gonna ask for one card, just one card, please. 
because we're already at 45 minutes here. I want to wrap this up, but there it is, otter. Okay. Okay, fine. One more card. Just one more, please, spirit. Raccoon. Okay. Let's start with otter. There we go. Otter. And I love this card. It's such a beautiful card. Like, the energy is fantastic. Otter. Unobstructed joy, playfulness, contentment. Perhaps the most joyful creature within the animal spirit deck, the otter represents absolute bliss. Otter energy is the playfulness of a child available to us at any age. They have a giddiness and reverence for life itself without the presence of doubt, worry, or skepticism. Imagine yourself with a little more otter energy. What would life look like? What would it take to bring you there? The otter card begs these questions and wants to transport us to that precious place as soon as possible. The celebration awaits. When in balance, otter is full of love and, leads and needs nothing. When out of balance, otter is gloomy, sighs, and makes silly excuses. To bring into balance, one must have a dance party or a celebration. And actually, what this is also saying in terms of this situation, work on just having fun right now. Experiencing the joy. Experiencing joy in your life right now. Like, don't worry about the circumstances. Don't worry about... Let the universe handle all of the, the, the trickiness. You just focus on having fun, loving yourself, enjoying yourself. You're already in that vibration anyway with the Nine of Pentacles, the, what was it? The Hermit, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Three of Wands. You're on the right path. And this path is leading you to a, a soulmate bond, a soulmate relationship, because the Three of Wands here, which is symbolizing that path, is crossing, um, what is it? What's underneath the Hermit here? Give me a second. The Magician, right. <laughs> the Magician. It's crossing the Magician and the Two of Cups. You're literally on your way there. So don't worry about it. Just focus on having fun right now, okay? Enjoy yourself. Just enjoy yourself. The more joy you can experience, the more space the universe has to help you with these manifestations of yours, okay? Finally, we have Raccoon which seems like it should be troublesome, but somehow I feel like it's really not as troublesome as you think. Raccoon, talented, shadowy, in hiding. Raccoon energy is at play within all artists to a greater or lesser degree. At best, it indicates talent, tenacity, and skillfulness with a particular musical instrument or creative tool. Its shadow side points to an unresolved, unresolved issue around self-image and success. Sometimes using a stage name or wearing a mask works in an artist's favor. Other times it limits creativity. Am I who my audience thinks I am? What if I am ready to grow into something more? Raccoon energy won't let us off the hook until this creative ego fear is resolved. When in balance, Raccoon is a generous friend and an exceptional artist. When out of balance, Raccoon is competitive and a starving artist. To bring into balance, one must make new work. Now, the reason why I feel like this isn't as troublesome as you think is because your spirit just said integration process. You have been going through the process of breaking yourself free from this blockage when it comes to creative, to being creative, right? Now, this could also mean that the other person is wearing some sort of mask. Because I don't really see the viewer as wearing much of a mask anymore. I mean, the moon in reverse, you have a dark night of the soul that you are emerging from. With the, I mean, come on, you guys. The sun came out with that. And I so mentioned it. I was even, when I was first talking about it, I was like, okay, you may not be seeing everything clearly. Like, this isn't the sun, it's the moon. Well, there, here I am putting my foot in my mouth because here's the sun. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys have a great day. Much, much, much love to you guys. Yes. Um, and I look forward to connecting with you again. I'm going to try and, and do morning coffee tomorrow morning. I'm, I'm going to be out pretty late tonight. Uh, but we'll see.
I'm gonna try, okay? And then I think I may be doing a happy hour tomorrow night. We'll see. All right, guys, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been a bit of a longer one, but I hope you guys have a great day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading. Yeah, take care. Bye.